Hello, welcome back to the Podding Along podcast. Today, we are going to be making our own Batman story. How do you feel about this, Max? Oh, I'm a bit excited, but nervous. I feel like I need to go for a nervous wee first. Right, it's a bit much. Well, well, you're going to have to wait a while for the episode to finish, then you can have your nervous wee. We're over. No, that won't be nervous anymore. No, it'll just be a normal wee. Not as enjoyable, is it? So. No. Like living on edge. I'll, I'll let you make the first choice. How old are we going with our Batman? So how old is he in the comics right now? He must be, uh, must be tearing he's up. He's on the, the older side now. Yeah, he's got to be over fifty shortly. Got to have a few. Oh, no, he's not that old. Him. Jesus, he's not that old. Well, he's been around for years. Yeah, but he's not. He still doesn't age. Do you not age in Marvel? So I know Paul Rudd doesn't, but I thought everyone else does. <laughs> Paul Rudd, he just sat there, just immortal. Go on. Then. Uh, what no, age? but I think I, I think we should go for twenty-four. Oh, so you prime. want a youngish Batman, you know. I want him to be a bachelor. Okay, okay. You want that That's bachelor? Right, we'll have him that age, you know, he's recently back, you know, he's probably not met all his villains yet. No, he's going to be called the Bachelor Bat. That's going to be his TV programme. Okay, okay. Well. First, Are you okay with him being 24? I'm happy with him being 24, you know. You made the first choice, you made the first choice. So yep. You've got a 24-year-old Batman. How long has he been on his journey for? Are we having him newly on his journey as Batman, so he's just come back to Gotham? Or is he aged? What do you mean, as in coming back, do you, as in has he gone to another country or city to fight crime? Well, he now? learns to be Batman elsewhere and comes back to Gotham. But, um, How does he? Let's uh, say so he's now Batman. He's come back. He's 24. Are we having he's him as a back. new Batman? So he's come back at like 20. Has he just come back? He's just starting his adventure and just becoming Batman, or is he already cemented in as Batman? I say he started when he's 21, so he's got three years' experience. He went to the Batman University. <laughs> and he's come back, and now he's officially a Batman. UOB. University B-O-B. of Batman. UOB. B-B-B-B-B. Okay. Yeah, so that's what I think has happened. So he's literally... He's, he's been fighting crime for about then. three years on an apprenticeship. Yeah, he's been on an apprenticeship scheme. Uh, so he's had now, long, has he got a Robin? Are we having him have a Robin? I'd say so. Yeah, Would, wouldn't you? So we're gonna have Dick Grayson as Robin, the first Robin. Is that who you want, old yeah, Dicky yeah. boy? Yeah. What's his special features though? What's he like? Um, I'd say he's what Dick Grayson. Yeah. He just you know he's Dick Grayson. He's sick. He's cool. He's plucky. He's Way to go at this point. He's young, so he's still happy being Robin at this point. He's not trying he's, to be Nightwing. He's happy being Batman's bitch. He's got to be younger than Batman, though. No, oh, of course, of course. So we'll have him at about like, I think, 18, 16, 19. 16, Jesus, 20. no, I want him to be able to drive. Well, he's recently lost his parents, so he's got to be quite young. What, both of them have? That's a bit of a coincidence, isn't it? Coincidence? I think not. Yeah. Because Batman loses. But is that how he made friends? Did he make him at an AA group? Is that how he met Dickie Boy? Well, he went no, to an he, AA group and he's, he's like, oh, you've lost your parents too, let's be friends. Well, his parents died and he took him in, took him in, made him his own almost son, brought him in. No, so he just anyway, so we've got, we're going to have some big players. We're going to have Batman, we're going to have Robin. They, Robin's obviously new to the story. Robin's just come in then. It's Batman's only been around for three years. He's a new feature. Yeah. He's felt like he's okay. a bit too much on his own. He wants someone to come home to. Okay. We've got the main players, you know. We've got Alfred. We've got Commissioner Gordon. Got Robin. Okay, okay. Batman. I'm happy with so, those players. What's happening in Gotham at the minute? What kind of... Are we saying it's in a COVID time where no one can go out? Or are we saying everyone's out, everyone's partying, everyone's having fun? Are we saying it's like I Miami? Said... Or are we saying it's like Texas? I've never been to Gotham. Is it a nice place? It doesn't exist. <laughs> I, know, I know. I haven't been there because I haven't watched the films. So I'd say... We have a time where there is, you know, Gotham's running as Gotham does. You know, there's small crime, but we're not on full supervillains yet. You know, there's a few supervillains. You got, you know, he's obviously met the Joker a few times. He's met the like the Riddler, Catwoman. You know, he's Catwoman's a bad guy. Yeah, well, she's more of like an anti-hero nowadays. But 
Oh. I want Batman Catwoman relationship to start in our story, though. Yeah, is that what you're going for? Is it? Okay. So should we make Catwoman the villain? What? That's how they're going to get together. Or do we just keep her as a subplot? I say we hold her off a second. Like, let's rein it back in. Is Gotham like a party place? I'd say there's a few parties, but I wouldn't say it's like. Nice. Is it like the Arrow guy? Is it going to be? He's going to go to prison tomorrow, so he makes a prison party. Is that what we're going to do? No. <laughs> no is he going to be a party person? That's what I'm trying to get. Bruce Wayne, 20... yeah, he's a party person. He's a playboy. He we is have to a keep bachelor. That. He has to cover his identity, his, his real identity of Batman, doesn't he? With Bruce Wayne. Of course. Okay. So it's still called Brucey. We're living in Gotham, which is a party place. It's like Miami in the summer. But also, there's a bit of crime, like Miami in the summer. But only small time at the minute. You know, there's been a few supervillains, but we're not like crazy, crazy supervillains. So, We've not got a supervillain every week. If the, if it's low-key, are they just villains instead of supervillains? I'd say it's just supervillains. You know, just, super he's not formed, the it? Justice League's not together yet either. So he doesn't, they say he doesn't know Superman. He doesn't know Wonder Woman. He doesn't know these big players. Okay. What's the difference between the super only villain superhero. and the villain? One super? As in one's got superpowers, is that pretty much it? Well, it's not all about how much they kill people. I'd just say a villain's, you know, mild level. You know, a villain, I'd say, is one of these small-time crime bosses. So the super okay. villains, the, like the Joker's a super villain. Because I was going to say, you have a murderer and you have a mass murderer. Girl. Like, I just, I know what the difference between a mass murderer and a murderer is. I just need to know the difference between a hero, sorry, a super villain and a villain. So I... So it's a super villain story. Who do you want as our big bad? Our big bad boss. Hmm. Hmm. I, I feel like I've made a lot of decisions. Go on, you pick one. Don't you dare go for the classic. No, I don't want to go boring. I don't want to put a joke story together because I don't think I've got the ability to tell a joke story yet. You know, we'll save that for a later episode. So keep you yeah. wait for that. And if we were going to do that, we might as well just read the bloody book. I'd be happy with a cat woman story. Does she wear lycra? <laughs> Wait, don't laminate the page of your comic this early. So that's a yes. Okay, so why cat woman? What have we got to do with her? I want her to be trying to rob the Wayne fortune. Ooh. Okay. I think that's a good idea, and I want them to be... He knows who Catwoman is. I think she knows who he is. They find out each other's identities very quickly, but they fall in love. I want a love story here. So what? how's it going to happen? And they're going to start fighting, and then suddenly they just lock eyes and just go for the kiss. And then fireworks happen, fountains go off, dogs start barking. Oh, there's an odd firework in the distance. Is that what's happening? I don't know, we're not at that bit yet. We're not at the kiss. Let's build the story. We're starting. We started Batman in a good place, yeah? You know, he's everything's going well at the minute. Does he have his cave? I think he's got his cave. He's got all that. He's got the mainstays of this universe. Okay, okay. That's good. In this universe. Sorry. So okay, I say so... we start him off. He's doing well. Bruce is doing well. You know, Wayne Industries basically running itself. He's not worrying too much. Making bank. Being Batman, no struggles with Batman. He's taken out like C class villains, you know. He's just dispatched of Kite Man easily. Yeah, got rid of James Corden, that kind of thing. Yeah, James Corden's gone wild on the, the late night show or whatever he's on. <laughs> yeah, on cats. And okay. um, so he's getting so, rid of low end villains. So he's happy. Yeah. Then I'd, I'd, then I'd say, oh, Catwoman notices. How much money Wayne's Wayne Industries are making? She doesn't want to keep just robbing little diamonds from the museum and things. She wants to go for the big bucks. So does, does she see it on CNN or something? Or oh no, is there an MTV rate my crib on? Has he has she literally seen? Hi, I'm Bruce, and this is my crib. Let's go. And then here's the bat cave. <laughs> yeah, I just like Whoa. I'm not Batman, by the way. I just rent. It's a rental I can, space. <laughs> I can rob this place. Let's go. Let's do it. And then she's just fucking nightmare, isn't she? But she's loving. That's how she found it from MTV Cribs. Yeah. 
We're not going to say yeah. if she had it from MTV Cribs. She did. She noticed it on MTV. She was just casually watching one day. Like, what, do we not oh, want wait, to rob, rob in, in the business? Do we not want to rob in the business? Do we want to rob in Wayne Manor itself? Yeah. That's, she's done that before. Different... She's done that before in the comics. You know, she stole his mother's pearls and things. Really? Okay. You know. So okay. we can have a... So we'll have a rob in the Manor. Do we want to make it a game? Because in Tom King's run of Batman, they made it sound like she kept Robin as a game, so he would be interested in it. Keep chasing her. Do we want her to know that he's chasing? The chase is the best bit about finding a new girl. 100%. It is, it is. I love the chase. I love it. Live for it. Uh, I think, yeah, let's play games. Let's play a bit of cat and mouse, eh? Let's, let's play a bit of cat and bat. Can that mate? I thought I did well there thinking that thinking about Okay, okay. So say she's robbed it a few times, they've noticed the thing, you know, Alfred's noticing, boom, this time here's the pattern, Master Bruce. This is happening every time. He's ready. Yeah. She thinks she's just moving Bruce Wayne to start with, and then it turns out boom, Batman's there. Oh, nowhere. Is but she keeps coming like... back and she wonders why Batman is always there. Why is Batman always there? She clocks it. She's clocked that Bruce Wayne is Batman. How did she see Batman? Was Batman just standing there in dark corner? Well, I think Batman chases forward. her every time. Okay. He robs it and Batman chases her, but he can't catch her. But she noticed that Batman keeps showing up so quickly. So is Why? this girl a really good thief? Selena Carl, yeah. Master. Because I was going to say, these buildings she's breaking into, there's no way my Bruce would have a shit security system. No you way can any security stop this. Really? No way. She's Maybe. just going in, she's taking it, let's say. She's taking it. She'll be taking it, seeing from Batman. But, uh, well, you, you just wait. So she's now, let's say, she has now just figured out who Batman is. She knows Brucey boy. How's she going to react? Is. What's she like? Does she go, oh. or she I like, think she's got some inner sorry. monologue, you know. Let's say she's up on the rooftops thinking, oh my God. You know, she's looking over at Gotham thinking, I've got away with it again, but why does Batman keep showing up? There's other things going on. Why is he always here? Oh, wait. He is Bruce Wayne. That's how he had fun. Oh, shit. I don't know. Once she thinks, I've never seen them both at the Playboy Mansion at the same time. So then I think, I think Bruce starts baiting her out. He starts baiting her out. I think he starts holding auctions and stuff at Wayne Manor. Starts holding lots of parties. Okay, okay, yeah. Trying to see who sneaks in that's not on the guest list. Boom, Selena Carr. Or... Does he make it a black cat dress-up party? No, it's a little bit on the nose, mate. Come on. I don't know, but can I imagine all the people that come here is like Cinderella where the shoe has to fit. She could leave her shoe behind at one time, or a, t- a cat is. I guess she's got cat no. is. They fall off. No. Okay, so she goes to the party. I think she goes to the Bruce. party. And he instantly, she knows who he is. So she instantly, I think she wants to gloat almost. She's figured it out and she wants to gloat that she knows. Okay, okay. So I think she goes up, she's asking, take for a dance, you know, do all that jazz. And she's like, oh, she like slips it in. Oh, bat, you've got to be quicker. And then you're like, what, what? She, like he stepped on her toes. She goes, oh, bat, you got to move those feet. Quick. Oh my God, she knows I'm Batman. Oh my God. <laughs> In front of everyone, or in a private room? I think a little whisper in the ear, a little whispers a bit of sweet nothings, and, oh, yeah, Batman. <laughs> okay, and then he drags her into the next room so they can chat in a quiet space. He's like, you keep... I think it's a little... There's a, it's an aggra- he's like, what? I mean, it's a little aggressive arm grab. You know. Oh, not a choke, just an arm grab. Yeah, so she's well, in the middle of the room, mate. You're still Bruce. You know, he's like, let, let, me, get you, let me get you a drink, and then just pulls her away or something. They go to a secret room. And then he's like, what the fuck are you doing? Why'd you keep robbing me? And she's, she's like, like how, do you know? how do you know? Why yeah. do you keep robbing? How did you figure it out? She says, she's like, she doesn't give away her secrets, I don't think. I don't think she gives away her secrets. Place hard to get. Yeah, but I think she, she likes him. She definitely likes him. Okay, so, so I think she, she, she goes in for the kiss, maybe. She gives him a kiss and then just leaves. Just, you know, no, no, she, would never, the she would never leave the kiss. Not on him. I think she would. I think she'd just grab him and give him one. Nope. 
he would put his left hand on her cheek, put her in slowly. I think with the arm grab, there's a lot of sexual tension between the two of them here. And like, they definitely have to leave this room having a kiss. Yeah, and they do. Okay, they've left the room. Do they go both go back to the party or does she leave? I think she sneaks out. I think they've gone to a second floor. I think they've gone up got off the floor and she's just jumped out the window. She's probably cat no. woman No, she hasn't. What she's done, they've both gone back to the party. She's wearing a nice long black dress. She walks out the door, but she turns around, looks him up and down, and then leaves. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. It's quite an abrupt exit. Everyone knows she's left. They're thinking, oh my God, what's happened here? Exactly, exactly. Okay, so they know each other now. Do they start fighting crimes together, or is the crime her not yet, not doing yet. crimes actually going to be a burden on their relationship? They're not in a relationship yet, Matt. I think now she hits the big bucks. I think she goes for Wayne Industries, his parents' company. I think he, she goes for that. Oh, what, so you think she was using him then? No, I think she likes him, but I think she wants to wind him up so much. I think she wants to keep the chase so he keeps interested. I think she goes for the big boy. Okay, okay, I can see that happening. So, okay, she's breaking in. She's broken in. Does Batman catch her in the act? Well, she didn't need to break in, mate. It's all digital, so. That was it. I think she breaks in and does some mischief there. I think she does little things and leaves little, like DDoS a little attack. Just DDoS the shit out of it. Mm -hmm. She didn't bleach the toilet, so she had a shit or something. You know, real lever mark. Yeah, fucking piss on the cat's cat litter box. But I think I she makes a that. real play for Wayne Industries. I think she finds like. Let's say Elysia Fox is bored by director at this point. I feel like she kidnaps him. Really? I feel like she kidnaps yeah. him. Using, you know, she uses him for all his information. Yeah. Let's say she really like almost tortures him. Let's say Catwoman has gone evil here. Because she is that into Batman. She wants to get under his skin. And she thinks that's the best way to do it. I think so. I think so. I almost okay. want this like a daredevil born again you know give put batman to his lowest yeah and then what do you think that's going to make him fall in love with her though? no because i think we take batman to his lowest through catwoman and a villain comes in when he's at his lowest and she realizes what she's done and she helps so and then that's they team up. Blossoms. i think so i think she realizes what she's done after she brings him down well I did not expect that twist. So, okay, who's rocking in? Sandman? So let's say she stole all the money now. Got all the money. Whip flash He's lost in. his business. He's lost the mansion. He's lost everything. Does she give away the secret identity? I think they already know it, surely. Not everyone. What do you, oh, what, as in, does she tell everyone who Batman is? Does she tell everyone Bruce is Batman? No, no, that's a step too no, far. No, she keeps that for herself. Because he herself. knows who she is as well. Okay, okay, fair point, fair point. So he's lost the badge and he has got zero money. Okay. He's got no company, he's completely skipped. You know, he's got his Batman, that's all he's got, Batman. But he's not got the money to fund Batman anymore. Oh, it's been a bit worse than I thought for him. So we're, we're taking we're stripping Batman to basic. Uh -huh. He's boring now. Get rid of Batman then. Fuck him off. Well, now we've got to build Batman back. So I think we need a villain to hit him whilst he's at his lowest. Who do we bring in? He's already on his knees. So I don't want to go for anyone like Bane or anything. They'll actually beat him. We'll go for Penguin. You know, okay, the guy that so writes all wanna... the books. <laughs> so we'll go for like a low level. Yeah. Someone who's. You know, he'd normally do all right against, but... I imagine Penguin's a little chubby bloke. Am I right? Bold? Yeah, yeah, the short chubby one. You know him. Oswald, Is he bold? Oh, he's got a little bit. A little bit of locks. Not loads, but... Okay, okay. Receding, though, I'm sure. Receding. Very receded, very receded. Almost too much. Uh, so, we'll take Penguin. I feel like that's good because, you know, he's at his lowest. And Penguin's going to... Penguin, do we do we have it that Penguin figures out who he is as well? No, no. No, Penguin's got no clue. No clue who he is. There's a joke so he just, in the film. He's just building his organisation and Penguin's just becoming 
the full time huge mob boss. He's taken over Gotham. Okay. Okay. So he's the big boss. He's the big cheese. He's the big apple. He he's the big cheese. The godfather. Yeah, he's just Gotham. shot through the ranks now. There's no Batman really. Batman's got to do less. He can't do as much. Okay. okay. Let's say Batman's not been Batman in for a few days since he's been knocked down. He's yeah, he's just been sitting in a dark cave with no electrics because well, he can't sit in there, because what if someone finds the cave? But it doesn't, yeah. But it's dark anyway, so because he doesn't have electrics, he can't afford them. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay. So I'd say Batman, so Batman's now is got, but he can't make more gadgets. When these gadgets are out, they're out. This is where Robin comes in. Robin gets a loan from the bank. No, I think I think he loses all his funds, surely. That's why he's getting a loan. He's getting one of them rainy day funds loans that are always really bad. Is Robin still superhero in or is he going to leave? Is it going to be Batman's lowest time if Batman's got Robin? Robin hasn't been there that much for in the last few days, but he's come back. He's like, wait, sweet shit out. I feel like they need to have fallen out. No, no, he's getting him up. He's getting him washed. Getting him out on the streets. They're walking around. That's it. Okay. Oh, okay, so Robin is the reason Bruce is going to go back to Batman in. Yeah. He's kind of just sort his shit out, pretty much. Get on okay, with it. Okay. That's what we're going for. Okay, because let's say Bruce uncharacteristically has given up. He's just, he's hit rock, but he's lost everything. He has, instead of doing what he normally does and just getting out there and working, he's given up. It's broken. Yeah, you're right. Robin's helping him out. Okay, I like that. I like that. So let's say Penguin is still just... He's running the streets now. He is taking... It's no longer little mob bosses. Penguin has taken over control. He owns the police. He owns the mayor. With his short man syndrome. Even Detective Gordon now will not meet Batman. No way. Really? I say we say Penguin's bought the whole thing. He has... He can't see him. The The bat signal's been destroyed. But, uh, yeah, but I think that I don't think it's been destroyed. I think they just don't use it anymore because it's been four or five days where so he just hasn't responded to it. And they're like, "What's the point?" No, I say they can't bring press. it up. I say I say Penguin has, whilst Batman's hitting this low point trying to fix it, Penguin is chipping away at him. Penguin is suddenly just meteor meteorically taking control under Batman's nose. Oh, big word. So I say I say the signal's been smashed, mate. I say the police smash it. There's no way of communicating with Batman now. Okay, so literally. But Even Batman's Gordon getting or... saved by Robin. Robin's told him to sort his shit out. And Look, that's what they're doing. Robin's been out. They say Robin's still heroing. He's still been good. He's noticed what Penguin's done in this last, say, week or so. Week or two. Two weeks. Yeah. Okay, so what's going to happen to Batman now then? I think Robin's got him up. He's seen he's gone, God, I need to get into some action here. We need to sort Penguin out. So are they going to have one of them cool, really fast scenes where... Batman like starts it was a montage where they start like fighting in a boxing ring training each other I don't think he like, finds Penguin straight away I shit. think no, no no I mean as in with Robin he's like, getting himself trained up like he's boxing Robin getting all set up they're like there's sparks flying when they're fixing the car they're getting a proper montage yeah exactly nice 40 seconds worth he's getting him ready what about to go. Alfred what are we doing with Alfred in this is Alfred abandoned since no, right. Alfred's still there. He doesn't care about the money. He does it for the parents, doesn't he? Obviously, obviously. So Alfred is still. He's trying to. He's just. Let's say Bruce has not moved. He's just laid on the floor almost. He is depressed to unbelievable. He won't eat. He won't do anything. He's just wasting away. He can't until Robin. Yeah. I think that first day out though. I say Batman maybe goes out once or twice, sorting out Penguin's people. But it's not enough, obviously, because Penguin's taking huge control. He's just, you know, he's trying to get answers. Catwoman shows up. Shit, so he's gone down a dark alley to beat up these drug dealers that Penguin owns. And Catwoman just rocks them, like, welcome to the party. Well, let's say he's not got that many gadgets since what's happened. He can't keep funding, so he's trying to save them. And they're trying to, they're nearly getting the best of him. There's a lot of them. And she comes in and she helps him and Robin. He's on the floor. He's about to get that final punch that was sparkling. And she just goes and... I don't know what Catwoman can do. Does she meow? She's whipped the leg out. You know, she's out. She's out. And then 
she puts her hand up, like, welcome to the party, because they met at a party. Jeez. But that, he's mad. He's mad. She's ruined him. I don't think he's mad. I think he's happy to see her. And I think she's like, right, you've sorted your shit out. Let's do this. And then she just, like, throws him well, the no, keys cause... to the Batmobile. And they go... I think he he's surely not going to understand why she's helping him straight away, though. I think he's got to have questions. I think he's quite naive at his lowest point. Okay. And I think she helps. Does Is she going to be fully good? I think she helps because she feels so bad and she likes him. Maybe maybe oh. she says something like, you didn't chase. No, it's just like, where did you go? What are you doing? Like, come on. You're meant to be so, here. I've missed you on the tour. You know, she, he didn't chase her. And she is. She wants him. Yeah, you're right. Now now we've got the team. We've got Catwoman in there. We've got Robin. We've got Batman. Robin's Alfred. probably third week. Alfred. Alfred. But Alfred hasn't got any computers or anything to do. Alfred's pretty much out of the story. Okay, okay. Poor Alfred. We'll fund him. We're out of money we'll here. Him. We're we're back to basics. We've not got the cave. You know, we got That's a Catwoman suit. not giving you anything. She's not gonna give him money. You know, she's coming, she's helping fight. She's not. So now I feel like we know it's penguin. Batman's figured out it's penguin, he's sussed it. He knows where penguin is. We go there. What? We just rock up to his front door and ring the doorbell. Go to the iceberg lounge or wherever, and we knock up with like Is that seriously how he calls it? I think it's something like that. I'm pretty sure it's that, yeah. That's a cool name. That's a cool name. I appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, so what? Are they going to go in quietly? Are they going to do the perch? Jumps? No, I think they just go in. They've smashed through. But Penguin's expecting stuff. Penguin's expecting stuff. He's got good security. He's seen He's it. expecting Batman wires. and Robin. Oh, he doesn't expect the cat to come along. So I think he's got these, like... Elite, almost. I think maybe he brings in bounty hunters. Maybe he brings in a dead shot and a death stroke, you know, to keep him protected. Yeah, because that's a good idea, actually. He thinks With he doesn't know got... what's happened to Batman. He just thinks he's gone low profile or he's out of town I, or something. So I think he? he's brought in his protection, but he's a little bit naive because he's not seen Batman. Obviously, Batman's hit a few shipments, but this is all happened in one night, I think. Yeah, I think he's no, quickly he's got death stroke and dead shot there. He yeah. sent them off. Go deal. With a dynamic duo. Oh, the double D. So they, they've gone to fight him. And I think at that point, Catwoman snuck in and she's got... <laughs> I think Cat was... Catwoman snuck in. She has got Penguin, I think. I think she's got Penguin. And what, I think at the same time, she's... Trap? I think she's got him, but boom. Now, she's, she's said, what are you doing? Sort this out. Stop taking control. And then the smoke machine come... comes on. Batman strolls in, saying, Am I, I late I to the party? Batman's really injured. Batman's really injured. He wouldn't come out with a one liner like that. He's not Spider Man. Batman's okay. proper injured. You know, he's not got his gadgets. He's fighting some big people here. Okay, okay. I say like, him and Robin have really, they've got through, but I think they've taken to beating. So, you know, it's, it's real bad. And I think Catwoman's got him, and Batman's just lost it. He's lost it a bit. He's a bit angry. Yeah. He's a bit sad. I bet he he's is. He's obviously not going to kill him, but, but he has beat, he's taken the penguin straight out of Catwoman. He's beaten it. You know, he's lost it. He's at his what lowest. You, but I think, think Catwoman's always like, stop, stop, stop. She's that voice of reason for him. But then does he start on Catwoman? No. No. I think then they go, thank you, thank you. But what's he going to do to Penguin? Because he owns the police. You can't arrest him. It's a very good point. It's a very good point. What do we do with Penguin? Because if, if we send him, he's just going to get out. Unless we get him to send all the money to transfer all of his money. We threaten him to transfer all his money to Batman. So then Batman becomes rich again. And then he bribes the police. It's like, sorry, we're bribed by Penguin. No, you're not. Here's 50 million. Lock him. Or does Catwoman, whilst this has all been going on, she's done what she did to Batman. She stole the wealth. 
Uh, so she's put a little thumb drive into the computer. What's the thing, yeah. yeah. She stole Penguin's wealth before, maybe before this is all going down. She's been stealing it to make it up to Batman before this has happened. Because obviously she's had two weeks. Maybe she's been trying to steal this, making it up to... She's got the money. She's made this pounce. That's why she met Batman. She's made the pounce. They got the money. He now can't play the police off or anything. They she dropped was. Penguin right outside. And she gets... Ca- Robin's gone home. You know, street lights have gone off. He's got to be back. So... Batman cat on a rooftop. Here, I've sorted it. She's given all the money back. She said, all I wanted was the chase. And then just gives him a kiss. And they have a kiss. And then she jumps off the building. Quick, no, I think quickie on the roof. And then they wake up in the morning underneath them. So Is that when like, the CNN helicopter comes flying past? I don't think anyone sees. The Pornhub helicopter. Comes flying I past. Know, with I but I think they go the next day. We we end the story as them coming off the roof, not as Batman and Catwoman, but as Bruce and Selina. And that hits going for the a coffee page day. of the sun. I think that's how we end our story. How do you feel about that story? Well, a bit overwhelmed. There's a lot of ups and downs. I feel like it was an emotional roller coaster, one that I didn't choose to be a part of. There was a lot of romance, a lot of action. I don't know what else you need. I'm quite bang, bang, bang. Happy with it. We had some big players in there. If only we had a cross link over between the universes, that would have been awesome. Mate, maybe for another episode. Exactly. Perfect. No, I enjoyed that. No, thank you for telling the story. Thank you for helping me build it. Exactly. Sweet. Anything so you to everyone want to listening, say? just keep podding along. You know, there it we enjoyed is. it. We'll we'll be doing more of these down the line if you enjoy it. Yeah, let us know. DM us on the old Insta, and we'll All get right. back to you. Sweet. Cheers, right. mate. See you later.